Here's my prognosis of the future is that we are going to build super intelligences and they are still going to be our pets. Yeah. Because there's a difference between being intelligent and being in control. Right? I think we're, you know, I think the, the primary mistake that people make when talking about AI, and this is a very natural mistake to make, we in the field made it in the early days, is to think of AIs as being humans in mechanical form. However, what AI really is is a technology. They are artifacts that we design to serve our purposes. If I build an AI to cure cancer, cure cancer is what it's going to do. The more powerful it is, the better. Right? If I build an AI to be a housebot or to entertain me, this is what it's going to do. Right? So we do not necessarily need to fear having machines that will be very intelligent and will discard us or maybe keep us as pets. We just have to make sure that we remain in control and that they really are our extensions. This is actually a lot easier than it seems to be because you know, in, in computer science there's this notion of NP-complete problems. These are the problems that are exponentially hard to solve, but very easy to check the solution. And in fact, one definition of AI is that it's the solution of NP-complete problems. And so the computer can be infinitely power, you know, chess, right, is, is, is an example like that, and Go, right? The computer can be infinitely powerful, and that's not a danger. We just have to, first of all, tell it what its objective function is, what the bounds are, and then we have to be able to check the solution. The bigger danger, actually, is that we, you know, the, the, the bigger danger is not so much that the machines will decide to leave us behind or not. It's that it's, it's more like the, the source's apprentice problem, right? Is that I tell, I tell the self-driving car, you know, this is a silly example, but it, it, it illustrates the point. You know, get me to the airport as fast as possible. In the process, it runs 20 people over, <laughs> right? It's them not having common sense. So the bigger danger that we have is not computers, you know, being too smart. It's them being too stupid. You know, people worry that computers will get too smart and take over the world, but the real problem is that they're too stupid and they've already taken over the world. <laughs>